Can someone please tell me why it's so hard to find a backpack that can fit a gimbal? For the past two months, I've been searching for a backpack that can fit my DSLR, a couple of my lenses, my drone, and most importantly, my gimbal. For those of you guys that have designed Crane 2, you know that it comes in a pretty nice case. And it's perfect for taking to weddings or for commercial shoots, but for traveling, it's just way too big. And that's a big problem for me because I'm actually leaving for Greece in two weeks. I just need something I can throw on my back and fit all my stuff and be done with it. I feel like this whole situation is really weird because gimbals are basically uh, a standard at this point. Most filmmakers and videographers use them and they're even getting smaller and smaller every year. So why is it so hard to find a backpack that can fit one? At this point, I've given up all hope and I decided to walk into my neighborhood photography store as the last resort. And to my surprise, I actually found the perfect backpack. Meet the Wandered Hexad Duffel. So this is the bag. It's sleek, it's quality, and it is big. Perfect for storing this guy, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. So let's take a look inside. So this is the inside of the Hexad Access Duffel. The name is kind of confusing because it looks and operates more like a backpack, but it's marketed as sort of a hybrid. As you can see, it has a lot of space to work with. I believe it's rated as a 45 liter bag. So yeah, it's not small by any means. When you open up the bag, you have access to these three large compartments, as you can see. The bottom compartments work as spaces for camera cubes, or you can leave them empty for clothes or whatever else you want, depending on your preferences. I personally went with the two camera cubes so I can maximize my gear storage. The cubes themselves come with a ton of inserts so you can customize it any way you want in order to organize your stuff. Uh, the bag is made of tarpaulin and ballistic nylon with army coating, which according to the website are both water resistant and weatherproof. The main compartment also has a bag for accessories, both at the top and the bottom, which is perfect for cables and chargers, and they can be accessed uh, from both ways. This bag even has a padded laptop insert, which can fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is great if you're an editor on the go. So here's the part you've been waiting for, if I can ever get my laptop in there. The gimbal. As you can see, it fits perfectly in the bag, even with the laptop. Although I would not recommend carrying this much gear because it's obviously gonna get pretty heavy. With all the stuff I just showed inside, the bag easily weighs over 30 pounds and that's no fun to haul around. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, more so of what this bag is capable of storing. Let's talk about cons with this bag, and there's only one really, but it's a big one. This backpack costs a lot of money, like almost $300 just for the bag. Uh, side note, I really like the pictures on their website and how they demonstrate how versatile the bag really is. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's $259 just for the bag itself. And it really starts to add up once you start throwing in the camera cubes, which are $49 a piece, 
but it looks like if you bundle them together, you save $10, bringing you to a whopping total of $347. Either way, that is a lot of money to be spending on a bag. But for someone like me that's been searching for a bag like this for a really long time, and there's really no other alternatives, at least from what I can tell, uh, it's definitely worth it. So I feel like a lot of the bag companies like Manfrotto, Peak Designs, and Lopro are all catching on and they're probably in the process of building some sort of bag or backpack that can fit gimbals specifically. But in the meantime, this is an awesome bag. I highly recommend it if you feel like spending the cash. But if you guys know of any other bags or backpacks that I mean I know of, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching guys. Oh, one more thing. I will be in Greece soon, as I mentioned earlier in the video. So stay tuned for some of that stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Peace guys.